Uh, okay. Uh, good morning, all dear students. So please, all of you join. Only 14 students are present here. What about remaining all? Is there any classes going on? Please, can you, anyone? Hello? Saksi, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, is there any classes going on? Yes, sir. Python classes going on. I think it's 11 o'clock, no? Already. Uh, actually, this lab session starts from 11 o'clock, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Again, one or two minutes, we will wait for them. <clears throat> yes, okay, fine. Uh, okay, uh, dear all students. Okay, uh, good morning, each and everyone who are present over here to my class. Uh, very welcome. Uh, dear all students, uh, am I audible? My screen is visible to everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, dear all students, now uh, I have to share one program that is. Uh, in the microprocessor group, program number two. So before that, uh, I will show you that that is a syllabus copy. We will go to syllabus copy at first. Uh, okay, here is syllabus. Yes, this is the syllabus. So for the lab session of syllabus, we will go through it. It's okay. See, the first program as per the syllabus, uh, just a minute is loading. Okay, the first program addition and subtraction of two 16 bit numbers. Whatever we studied in previous, that is addition of subtraction, addition and subtraction of to be 16 bit numbers. Okay, so the first program we have to cover. Today I will move to program number two. In the program number two, that is same as program number one, subtraction and addition. Addition and subtraction of two 32 bit numbers. First one is with 16 bit number. Second one is 
with 232 bit number what is 232 bit number is nothing but is nothing but 216 bit numbers 32 bit is nothing but 216 bit numbers we are going to do with addition and subtraction so first one we will go to addition of 232 bit numbers so that 232 bit numbers addition already i sent you that code in your uh, whatsapp group addition of 232 bit number see here this is the 116 bit number and one more 16 bit number that is nothing but 232 bit number here also 116 bit number and one more 16 bit number this becomes a 232 bit numbers remaining same as your program so all of you start to type i will explain you once executed okay first what we will do we have to execute this program first so before you actually i will explain one or two minutes so here in that assume code <coughs> that is at the beginning line up to that you have to go for set data segment in the data segment you have to use two variable number one and number two which is a defined word you have to define two 32 bit numbers that is 16 plus 16 two 32 bit numbers you have to declare like this same way in the number two you have to declare with the two 16 bit number any of the 16 bit number two times you have to take it becomes a 32 bit numbers okay and the result we have to save in the dw3 3 we have to take it here because of that is duplication of value in the 32 bit compulsory you have to use dw previously we are using dw question mark but here compulsory you have to use three duplications because we have to take in the 32 bit one of the duplications that is uh, we have cut the section into two parts 16 bit plus 16 bit that's what we have to take three duplicate one is for beginning one is for two four sections okay and ends the data se uh, segments here so after that uh, we will go to code segment in the code segment at the beginning you have to uh, declare with main or start anyone you have to take no problem you take start or you take main both are acceptable so here again same as your previous program move ax data is transferred to ax register and that ax register is start, uh, beginning with 008 that one is computer is taken by default day and in the ax register you have to dump it to the first number number one same way in the bx you have to dump it to number two and make a one clear it, 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 it is optional either you have to use it or you don't use it if any memory is containing some value at the beginning so it is clears the memory it is just clears the memory and fresh memory is given for addition of so this is the add instruction addition of ax and bx whatever these two numbers after that what you will do you will move this result so if after addition of ax and bx that result is going to accumulate it in the ax register so that result is nothing but your ax register to result that result is the one of the variable what we have declared so that ax value is transported into result variable after that num plus one you are going to do because of duplication three we are going to do the 32 bit operations so number plus one with the next one that one you are going to num plus one plus two it becomes a three same way num plus 2 plus 2, it becomes a 3 value. That's what I am using a 3 number here. So, this is the passion of 32 bit addition. After that, again, we are going to do the add. What is the use of ADC instruction? Addition with carry. A double D is for addition, and ADC is for addition with the carry. If this bit you are going to add with this bit. So, next. That is move result also again you have to take so here move uh, that is uh, okay move result ax you are taking now same you have to take with result plus two position again adc with the dx register 0h again you are going to do with the result plus four with the dx value fourth register again you have to use any of the one register started register of ax register and here you are using 20 to 1 h 
for the 32 bits, you have to use the 21H. For the A16 bit, you have to use the 3 into 3. So here for, it is used for some specific purpose. Some after some days, I will explain you. That time you will clearly understand. Okay. And now we have to transfer, uh, study it with interrupts. So here, interrupts 21H and ends the code segment and ends the start. Or if you use the main, ends the main. So this is the program. Dear all students, all of you start to type in the uh, TASM software along with you as a typing. So who are, uh, you know how to execute the program, please you take this code and start to type and execute and send me the output screen. Parallelly, who are don't know, who are not having laptop or machines, I also executed on the screen, please all of you uh, observe my screen. This one program, so this addition, I will uh, give you execution and subtraction you have to do by your own, okay? So first, I will go to my uh, TASM software for this code. So here, uh, okay. So today we are going to, we are doing the program for second as per your syllabus, 32 bits. Yes, okay. So fine. Uh, so this is my screen and this is the TASM software. I have to click on this TASM software. So, okay that command window is open. So here, edit, first command, what is the first command? Edit, name of the file, mp, to add. So microprocessor, second program, edition. What is the name of the program? Microprocessor, second program, edition, dot asm, uh, enter. You have to getting this edit window. So in this edit window, we are going to type the program. So here you have to type at the beginning line, assume, assume uh, CSE's code and uh, DS is data. You have to respect to the assembler to assume. Next line, you have to take cache as yeah, please, any questions? Data segment. In that data segment, you have to use the two numbers. Num1, define the word DW with 1, 2, 3, 4, H, hexadecimal, comma, 5, 6, 7, 8, H, two numbers I am taking. And in that num2, also you have to take any number you have to take now, it is not a fix. Any number you have to take for addition and subtraction, your own convenience. Okay, first you do whatever you given the codes. After that, you have to practice by your own with the different values. Zero, A, B, C, one, two, H, and uh, zero, C, D, E, F, H, these two values. Next, you will take one more variable for the result. Result, which is again defined over DW with three number, that is the duplication. Duplication. And here, this is the data segment that data ends. It is the data ends. Next, we'll move to code segment. Code segment. The spelling of data. Okay. See, if any question is there, please ask me. Otherwise, I request you to please mute it, everyone. So here, again, uh, we have to take, uh, start with main or start. Main, I'm taking anyone you can use, no problem. Okay, main. Uh, 
move x comma data next move dx comma zero zero h with the starting address next move x comma num one move vx num two next you have to make a one clc means clear it is a clear so whatever memory is containing in ax and vx if any previous memory is there memory data is there in the memory that one is going to be clear the memory ax and vx next move uh, next drive we have to go for add ax comma bx so we'll add ax comma bx and move result more result comma ax and more ax comma num1 plus 2 more bx comma num Two plus two ADC add with carry AX comma BX move move result plus two AX Next, ADC, DX, DX comma OCH. That is zero zero eight. Move. Move x comma four c h. Then only one h. So here you have four and 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 main. Okay. So dear all students, this is the program. You have to uh, type this program and go for file. In that file, you have to save the program. The program name is uh, microprocessor second program edition. Okay. So this is the save. After that, you go and exit. Come to the command window. So next, uh, you have to do the second command. What is second command? Tarsum space, name of the file, dot ASM. Okay. So here, uh, error messages are none. There is no error. And one warning is there. If one warning is there, then we will check. What is that warning? Uh, okay, warning is there, then it's okay, no problem. Okay. So, but no errors. Next. We will go to the third uh, command that is T link MP dot ASM. So MP bad object file, bad object Hello. file. 
void yeah yeah please any questions hello sir uh, when you use the t link uh, t link third uh, then we use obj na sir dot obj yeah, yeah that's what that's what that's what it is giving bad object file that's what it is giving bad object file because i given a wrong command right so that's what i will give you now t link mp uh to add dot obj we have to give that's what it will give a bad object file so now we will check t link m microprocessor second program edition object okay now we will get a no stack means it's correct okay so if we are giving wrong command also it will not accept it so next i'll give you fourth command td name of the file dot uh, exe dot exe executable file last command is executable file okay so if i press enter our output window is coming over here just see how to click out it so next what we will do all of you please carefully observe here uh, that is view cpu just you have to click on this so next see you have to do the calculations by using uh, any scientific calculator what is the addition of these two numbers first you are going to do it 1234h with 5678h you have to go and do this two numbers addition 1234h and 5678h what output you will get it you have to see so here view in that cpu after that we will go with f7 all of you now uh, leave it all the works just you have to observe to screen f7 i have to press you have to check f7 first ax is by default value it will take memory location 48d ad next dx see next ax is 0 0 because we have to assign 0 0 value 20 cd Okay, wait, wait. Something is happened. Anything? Uh, please, all of you try yourself. I will check it out. Okay, so just uh, I have to quit it. Edit. Yeah, in this program, uh, assume CS is the code, DS is data, data segment number one. That is one, two, three, four, eight. 5678H DW 0AB 12H CD ESS. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the program for this one. Uh, okay. So here, see, this is the wrong mistake set. Spell mistakes is here. That's what one warning it is given. And this data is not accepted. Please all of you listen here. What is the mistake in the program? So actually the spell mistake is here, DATA. But instead of DATA, I use DTA. Okay. So that is A. We are going to use. So that is data is ends. Because data is not ends here. That's what it is not giving correct output. So again, I'll save this program. I'll save this program and I'll exit. Exit. Next, I'll come to the command. Uh, Tasm command. So, okay. Now, warning message is none. Okay. So, warning message is none. Now, everything is fine. So, again, we have to give uh, T link object file. Next, our TD executable file. Okay. So, here it's fine now. So, now we'll go to CPU again we have to run with the F7. So now all of you be carefully observed here. That is F7. AX is see all of you go and uh, So 
so here you, you observe this 20 cd is the word how much you have to get in do the calculations all of you Uh, just a second, just a second, there is a problem is going on here. Okay, uh, dear students, there's a some, uh, some logically mistakes what we are doing here. Just a minute. Uh, that data is not dumping. So, okay, wait. CS is code. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, yes, fine.
Okay, anyone you tried, are you getting anyone output? Okay, here you are getting this one. Mm. Okay, still not, no one is there. Okay, uh, just a minute. So there is a, some uh, problem I'm facing. So, okay, dear all students. Okay, there is a problem in my uh, install uh, that uh, Tazam. So I will take one more time. Uh, it's fine. We will go to, so I will take it as uh, next one more program. This program, uh, I will take it next next session. The second program, I have to take it next session. So I will take uh, next one more program. Please all of you cooperate me. There is a, some uh, problems is occurred. So it is not going to execute it. I have to make it selected and uh, I will explain you in one more uh, session. So now I will go to this next session, next program that is 16 bit multiplication so this is 16 bit multiplication i will go it please all of you listen here uh, so this is the program for uh, 16 bit multiplication very short program
okay uh, dear all students there is some problems in the second program so now we will uh, uh, move to third program that is multiplication 16 bit multiplication okay so please i said that code i said that code are uh, you going to uh, execute it as per the code so in this i i will i will give you the correction in the next program for the second program in the next session so now we will move to uh, second program so that is uh, and multiplication of 16 bit numbers so in that multiplication of 16 bit numbers go to the tasm software here we have to give edit uh mp3 multiplication m u which of dot asm okay here you go and type the program that is uh data segment all of you try this already code i have to say please all of you try along with me so here i am using dd dd is the nothing but what data debugger data debugger we have to use it then directives right okay before that we are going to assume assume that is uh, csc is code and the uh, dsc is data okay so this is the code segment next we will move to code segment in this we will use the star or main whatever our convenient so here we have to use move uh, ax comma data next move ds comma ax we have to ask for the x to ds after that move ax comma a after that move bx comma b bx comma b up to that so we have to do the multiplication of so for that we are using the instruction mul mul is used for multiplication that is ax comma bx for the multiplication we have to use uh, multiplication bx so this is the multiplication we are going to use just bx not the x and bx just the bx which is the multiplication ax bx so here Yes. Okay. So next, we will use move word e t r c comma x t.
Okay. So here just we will look at that and we will try. So we are getting this one or not. So go and I will tell you this uh, course is going to be there. Just so you have to save this program. Okay, so we have to check any of these two. This file, quit it, go to the second command, task them. Uh, file name mp3 for multiplication dot asm. Error message. One error message we are getting. That is uh, in the line number 15. In the line number 15, extra characters on line. So line number 15, we will check it. Line number, that line number 15. Okay, here we have to give only the multiplication BX. Yes. So here, save this program. Exit it. So edit. Yes, no errors now. Okay, fine. So next, go to the third command. T link. Uh, mp3 mul dot obj. Again, the no stack. So next, we'll go to the executable command. Td. dot exe it is dot exe so this is the program again we have to go it go and run view if you so here okay on that cpu we have to do so here we have to press the f7 for the execution see in the ax register we have to dump the value one, two, three, four at the beginning. Okay. In the AX, we have dumped the value one, two, three, four. So in the BX, again, I have to press the F7, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. These are the two numbers we are given in the program, right? One, two, three, four in the A, that is AX register. And the five, six, seven, eight is the B, that is the BX register. Next, we have to do the multiplication of BX with the AX register, that is again press the F7. See, after that, DX here, it is going to be transferred 0626, and this is the 5678. So this is the result, that is AX. Again, the after the multiplication, we are getting 0060. You go and do the multiplication of two numbers, Just a second. Okay, there is a some. Uh, Just a bit again, same problem is happening. Uh, maybe uh, I think my laptop problem is there. This is the one thing of uh, that is happened. So Okay, uh, because of some uh, problems,
okay uh, dear all students uh, just you have to observe here see uh, one uh, file i have to open it okay see dear all students we are going to do the multiplication as per our program one uh, first number that is a is equal to 1 2 3 4 and b is equal to 5 h right these are the hexadecimal numbers so you have to go and do the calculations in the hexadecimal how much you are getting in the hexadecimal use the calculator and do the multiplication of these two numbers how much you are getting so that is nothing but so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you can do the multiplication and tell the answer in the hexadecimal in the hexadecimal it will use the answer as per the calculator 6 2 6 Double zero six zero. It will give this answer. You go and check it. All of you, go and check it. Okay. So this is the answer you have to getting. So this answer you are making into two parts: sixteen bit plus sixteen bit. So this this number is again I have to copy it and tell you how it will use. Okay, so six bit each. So this number is stored in the one register with the A register zero zero six zero and in the dist, uh, DX register zero six two six. This is the answer for the program. So this one how we are going to be executed by using this one. is fine so one more times i will show you this execution so here this one uh okay that is a uh, tasm can then so t link dot obj so after that td space mp3 ml dot exe okay so here now you have to check that is so on the cpu dear students what is our answer our answer is Zero six two six and zero zero six zero. So one bit is stored in the EX and one more bit is stored in the DX register. That one you are going to be observed in the result. So if I have to press F seven, so first one two three four is dumped into the EX register. Next five six seven is dumped into the BX register. You have to observe here. After that, going to do the multiplication. You have to getting lower and higher. Lower nibble and higher nibble. Lower nibble is a x. It is accepting the value. Higher nibble it is accepting the value with the d x. So in the lower nibble that is double zero six zero is there, and in the higher nibble zero six two six is there. So next I have to press the F seven. See, listen here. A x is containing zero 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 six zero right. That is the lower nibble it is present in the a x register, and the higher nibble is present in the DX register. D one more register we have taken that is DX register. So zero six two six and zero zero six zero. These two are your result. Actual multiplication result is zero six two six and zero zero six zero. This is as per what I said. As per what I said here. So here. Right, so this is the result, right? 
So this value is zero six two six is stored in the DX register, and zero zero six zero is stored in the AX register. That is nothing but your values. That is nothing but DX is observed here carefully. So see this six zero zero six zero is stored in AX register. Is stored in the AX register and zero six two six is stored in the DX register. This is your multiplication of one two three four and five six seven eight. Is it okay? All of you got it. Multiplication. Please, if you are not getting, tell me. Anyone go and again practice it. Same code you have to execute. This is your result. Okay. The result is stored in AX register with lower nibble and DX register with higher nibble. Is it fine? Are any doubts, please? How many of you getting output? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Is there any other student? So if no doubts, I, I will move to one more program that is division, fourth program. We are keep it up, second program as a pending. And uh, third program is this one, multiplication. And can I move to fourth program, uh, division? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So uh, these are the programs you go and practice it in your home. While practicing, again, any doubts comes, please you have to contact me. Now I will move to fourth program, that is 8-bit uh, division. Very simple again, it is 8-bit division. So program number four, I have to take. So I this code I will save with you. Okay, some of the students are getting. Uh, okay, some of the students are sending the output screen. But uh, it's not accurate. Okay, one of the students has got the output that is 0060 and 0626 is the DX and AX is very good. I think uh, 10595, very good. Good answer. But uh, one more student is trying, but uh, uh, answer is not. So please, you have to try. Again, any notes, please ask me. That is 1938. 81938, please. You have to edit out, you have to get the correct output. 10595 is getting the correct output. Okay, very nice. Uh, that uh, 23712, exact right output. Very nice. Okay, keep it off. Yeah, keep on, you have to practice. Now I will move to next program that is uh, program number. So now we will move to the program. It is quick. So next, I will go to the edit. Uh, edit MP program number four division. Dot ASM. Okay. So here my command window is open. All of you start. Please make it mute. Please all of you make you mute. So here again, you go and start to type the program. I zoom. I zoom. Uh, CS is code. DS is data. Next, you have to take data segment. You have to define A is a data defined bytes. 
Here we are going to define the fight 28H. B is the one number you have to take. DB 02H. So what is that meaning? 28 ko 02 se divide karna hai. And C a variable you have to take. DW is how much? Okay. So next you have to answer the data. This is a data question. After that, you'll go for four segment. In that, you have to take start or main as per your convenience. So here again, you have to start the code with move x comma data move ds comma ax you have to move with the bits that is in the ax move bx again you have taken the starting memory location that is 00h for the division purpose so again, you have to move accumulator AL, you have to take AL comma A. Next, to take move BL comma B. Next, you have to do the division. What is division instruction? DIP by B register, you have to do by the B value and move C comma AX. Up to that, you have to take interrupt INT into three. And uh, you have to yes int three. After that, you have to yes the code code end up to that you have to add the start okay so this is the program for division just you have to divide 28 by 2 heavy so for that oh, i have to take a and b to variable into a and b l which the a is the base started at value with 0, 0, h in the memory locations so this is the program so all of you go in division with the 28 by 2. How much you are getting? 28 by 2 is uh, 14, right? You have to get in the value of 14. That 14 is stored in the AX register. Okay. So here I am going to save this program, saving this program, and uh, you have to go to the command window. So in that command window, you have to give TASM MP4 division program dot asm so here one error message and one warning message in the line number 20 and 21 illegal instruction 20 and 21 you have to check it out go to program edit file line number 20 where is line number 20 okay code end as it is code ends always directed we have to use the ends then only it is correct okay it is instead of end we have to make it as ends so again we have to go and save the program save this after the correcting the code you have to save this program quit it so again you have to go for uh tasm okay so now you are getting zero error and zero warning messages I'll go to third command, tealing. Uh, that is uh, MP for div dot obj file. Again, getting no stack. Next, again, you have to go for uh, td. That is MP for div dot exe executable file. Okay. 
So this is the window. Go and click on this window. Okay. So this is the view. You go and click on the CPU. What you will do now? Again, you have to dump the value of 28 and 2. So by pressing the F7 line by line execution. So now AX at the started value, AX is 0, 0. We have to take AX is 0, 0. Up to that, BX is also 0, 0. F7. So now AX is dumped with 28 value. All of you have to observe carefully. AX is dumped with 28 value and press the F7. BX is dumped with 0 to value. In our program, we are going to do the division of 28 by 2. So 28 and 2, we are going to dump these two value. Up to that, again press the F7. So you have to getting the AX value is 14. So 28 by 2 is nothing but 1, 4, right? 14 value. So this is the work. execution of program. This value, AX 28 by 2 is 1, 4. Okay. So uh, dear all students, today we are going to execute it. Uh, third program and fourth program. Third program and fourth program we are executing. Okay, one students are sending output. That is very good, very nice. Uh, 10595, correct output. Thank you. Any other students, please? Are you practice to send me the output? So like this, again, we are going to do the practice. See, uh, actually, whatever I given the second program, subtraction and uh, addition of 232 bit. That program code is correct. Just we are going to do the manipulation with the register. That one, uh, I will give you the solution in the next session, lab sessions, okay? So dear all students, uh, uh, just to wait, all of you, I have to take your attendance. Just for one minute, I will take attendance. So that is... Uh,
Uh, okay, dear all students, uh, please, uh, more numbers, you have to send me the output, how many of you executed? Okay, one more, five, one, three, two, three. Very nice, you are getting output. That is five, one, three, two, three. Very nice, good. So is there any more outputs, please? So, okay, uh, dear all students, you go and uh, practice in your home. Uh, today's uh, that third program, multiplication line, fourth program, division. Both of you have to do the practice. And uh, that second program, the program is correct, no doubt. Program is correct. Okay, one more students are sending that output. Very nice. Uh, 10595, again, very good. Okay, where is your output? One zero five nine five. Uh, where is your output? For second one. Okay, for second program you are seeing. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, for second program, DS and is school. Okay, second program I'll check it and I'll tell you. Keep it up, second program is a pending. Very good, but you are tried. You are tried means very good. Uh, appreciation for your effort. Okay, so I'll give you a solution for this. Okay, thank you. So, okay, idea is all students, more number of you have to practice and you have to get the output. Today, if you go and again practice that third program and fourth program, multiplication and division, and you have to send me the output screen to my personal number. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you, one and all, who are attended today's class. So, more number every day you have to attend the regular classes. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. If any questions you have discussed now. Okay, uh, all of you, again, you have a 10 minutes time, go and execute the program. You have to execute the program and send me the output up to uh, 12.30. You have a time up to 12.30. So please, you have all of you uh, execute the program and you have to send me the output up to 12.30. At 12.30, you have to be talking. Okay, one more student. Very nice, 53313. Very nice, getting correct output about the fourth program. Okay, and uh, one more student that is uh, very nice, six, two, three, double one. Very nice, getting correct output, division program. Okay, send me remaining all the students. So who are send the output screen, you can log out. Otherwise you don't log out up to 12.30. After 12.30, you, you don't log out, who are not sending the screen to me. Execution output screen to me. Only who are sent, you have to, as you attendance, you have to log out.
ओके सी ऑल स्टूडेंट्स ओके यू हैव स्टिल टेन मोर मिनट टाइम यू हैव टू डू प्रैक्टिस योर सेल्फ एंड एनी डाउट्स प्लीज आस्क मी द क्वेश्चंस ओके सो नाउ यू कैन लॉग आउट ऑल ऑफ यू लॉग आउट नाउ Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah. Is there any questions? Yeah, please. Ha, uh, sir. Which chapters for IELTS exam? Okay. <laughs> How many chapters you want? You only tell me. First two. I have to cover three chapters, and fourth one I have to cover uh, within uh, one more lecture. So within this week, I have to cover all four units. How many units do you need? First three, sir. First two. Two, three, one. Anyone you need zero? <laughs> sir, first two, sir. Why first two? Why not third? Sir, add third one. See, this is the all first of the three. Uh, first, yeah, first three. First three uh, units we have to uh, fix for first time. See, okay. Because uh, maybe we they are conducting only two ISC or three ISC uh, actually because of online maybe two ISC that time uh, we have to cover all the units no in the no. ISC we have to cover all the units so for that uh, first ISC I have to fix first unit second unit and third unit three units okay yes sir. okay fine. Three units I have to give uh, kept for your first IC, and all of you have to read accordingly. And almost uh, that uh, questions also is there in the in my notes only. So majority of that questions you have to concentrate on more. Only first unit I think no questions in that notes. So first unit I'll give you the assignment questions, and second unit and third unit. All questions are there in the notes only. Those questions you have to refer more. Okay, is there any more anything other? Is there any other uh, things you want to discuss with me? So can I stop it here? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So all of you have to do the logout. Uh, thank you all. रूपाली त्यांच्या घरी फोन करत बोलायला सांगते ना आता <laughs> <laughs> 